I'm Patricia Lansagam, a senior advisor at the Middle East and Central Asian Department of the International Monetary Fund. And uh, in our department we have, out of 32 countries, 10 are fragile states. Um, so obviously we're very interested in the issue on how to work better and engage better with fragile states and what can we do to improve uh, how the international community assists fragile states. They're particularly important because very often fragile states need a great deal of foreign aid to rebuild and, and um, therefore there's a lot of donor issues, aid issues, coordination issues, transparency issues, which are common to other low-income countries or other countries that requ require a lot of aid. But in the case of fragile states, because of the magnitude and because of the need to build institutions that are particularly important and also particularly difficult to deal with. Um, and the IMF obviously uh, plays an important role in this uh, setup because very often we are engaged there in trying to sort of put together a budget, build the budgetary institutions, help assess what the financing needs are, try to work with other donors to sort of fill those financing needs. I believe a greater transparency enhances policy making everywhere, but particularly in fragile states. Um, it's important because of the great amount of donor financing that comes through and therefore um, usually donor, uh, donors require um, a great deal of, I mean, they, they need accountability for their own domestic um, purposes and therefore they try to, you know, to show that the money is being well spent, but at the same time we are there to try to build institutions and rebuild the state and, and it's important to have um, a very clear budgetary framework where everybody understands where the money is going to, what it's doing. And that in itself can help um, improve the democratic process because to the extent that um, there is greater accountability to the parliamentary uh, system, to the public, that enhances um, institution building in the fragile state. From the point of view of the IMF, where we try and work to improve capacity is basically on, in the Ministry of Finance and in the Central Bank, which are the areas where our expertise lies. And actually they are very crucial areas because, again, from the very beginning you will have large amounts of foreign financing coming through. There is an attempt to also mobilize some domestic financing to the extent that one can. And if you build a solid budgetary process, if there is clear accounting of where the money is, going, is coming from, where it's going to, how it's being spent, if there is clear monitoring, that, um, that helps not only in, encourage the donors to continue providing aid, but it also encourages the institution building that is required to, um, to come out of this fragile situation. I think there is a great deal that can be done to, to improve donor coordination. I mean, for a start, sharing, um, requiring donors to provide timely information on what they're doing and what they spend. Um, have governments uh, provide them with a clear format in which they have to submit that information. Um, require greater coordination among donors, and that has, this has to be a process led by the country itself, in which you know, there, is, there is clear um, sharing, not only of information, but also of areas of responsibility to avoid duplication and to avoid gaps. Um, at the same time, you know, the, the government has to provide the information um, as to how the money is being spent and monitor that closely to be able to, to give that information back to the donors. But to the extent that donors can work together, and there include not just the bilateral donors, but also the international financial institutions, you're going to have a much better program. Um, you're going to have much better, more effective assistance and a better utilization of, of the money and the aid that is being put into a fragile state.